the excellent projects in the portfolio from the biomaterials portfolio is from ResBio, which is one of our biotechnology resource and development centers. ResBio's goal is to develop, to use advanced scientific and engineering processes to develop new biomaterials for biomedical applications. And this process is predicated on the notion that someone comes to them with the biomaterials need and they synthesize the candidate polymer from within their vast libraries and then characterize that polymer based on physical properties and computational processes. And through an iterative cycle, the end result is a new biomaterial that they can then test for further development. And one of the great examples of this has been the development of a new cardiovascular stent. So it has all the properties we've come to expect from stents, that it has some novel features, which are that it is biodegradable by a very controlled degradation process, and it's also radio-opaque, so we can um, image it and we can monitor the degradation process as it proceeds when the stent is no longer needed. In 2002, Weaver Medical came to us with a brand new stent design, but they were also looking for a new polymer, a resorbable polymer, that could replace the commonly used metals. Metal stents have the disadvantage that they remain within the body of the patient for life and can cause long-term complications. Stents have completely changed the way we treat coronary vessel disease. Stents are an amazing breakthrough. Stents are tiny, but they have to be strong enough to withhold the forces generated by the flow of blood. They also have to deliver drugs into the vessel, and at the end, they have to safely resorb into the body of the patient. All of these requirements make the stents one of the most difficult medical devices to design. NIH grants allowed us to design polymer libraries using combinatorial methods that allowed us to home in on a set of promising polymers for the Riva stent in a process that took us months instead of years. Reva's drug eluding stent has already created hundreds of jobs, but more importantly, it will change the way in which we treat coronary vessel disease. The Reva stent is today in clinical trials, and we are very optimistic that it will lead to improved outcomes for our patients.